You know, I don't expect you to be okay. Mom just showing up the way she did. I mean, that's it's, it's many times she tell me that you are okay. It's just a lot to deal with. I've never dealt with my mom's illness. I mean, how do you deal with that? Every time she does something crazy, I just try to push it out of my head and move on, you know, because it's just easier to deal with than having to face every day. Honey, you know what? You don't, you don't have to face your mom or see your mom or deal with your mom if, if you don't want to. I, it's not what I was doing. I'm not, I'm not pushing you to do that. Well, it's not facing her that scares me. I'm scared of the possibility of turning out like her. It's, ne it's never going to happen. You don't know that, It's never Jake. going to happen. You don't know what makes someone go crazy. I mean, just one day they just snap. You know, there's no warning. There's no explanation. If I ever hurt Trevor the way my mom has hurt me, I would never forgive myself. Careful, Angela. We're on a terrace full of witnesses. Wouldn't want to put your husband in a position where he has to arrest you for assault. I'm not going to smash it over your big head if that's what you're worried about. It was a gesture. I know how hard it is to be chief of staff, the toll it can take on a marriage. My marriage is just fine. You tried to blackmail me into getting your job back so you could care less about my well-being. Is it really that hard for you to believe that I saw the two of you over there trying to have a romantic meal, and I thought, what can I do to make it better? All right, enough of the games, David. What is this about? It's simple, Angie. I honestly thought that you could use a nice, stiff drink today. Marissa! She's helping AJ with his homework. Where were you? Don't worry about it. I got a right to know what's going on. Why, Scott? Because my dad left you in charge? I don't give a damn what that piece of paper says. I don't take orders from you. No, you just come to me for favors. I just spent the last half an hour tap dancing around Marissa's questions so that you could go take care of something, and I want to know what the hell it was. Hey, you should focus on Chandler. It's a big job. You wouldn't want to fall flat on your face straight out of the gate. That's all you care about, isn't it? The business. Never mind the mess that you have made of your life. You had sex with Annie, you betrayed your wife and your father, but all you can think about is how you lost out on the company. Life is so unfair. I don't need this right now. Well, you, you go upstairs, you better be prepared to answer some tough questions because she knows there is more going on than what we are saying, and that letter proves it. God, JR, what? It's bad enough that you slept with Annie, and now you're lying to Marissa about it, but you got me lying to her too. She deserves better. You don't think that I know that? I hate what I did to this family. And how hurt Marissa will be when she hears the truth. But she needs to hear it from me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell her everything. Right now. 